I was on my uh, way to work, it was about 4.15, and I got a call saying it was on fire. And don't really know what started it. They couldn't find out. It was undescribable. I spent 20 years um, fixing it all up and getting it the way I wanted it. There was no doubt in my mind that I wasn't going to be back. A couple of the other restaurants put out fundraisers. Well, it's a small community. That's what small communities do. They come together and they help out their neighbors. They do whatever they can to support each other. When I was little, I used to come here and get the Mickey Mouse pancakes. I'll tell you, they make the best Eggs Benedict of anywhere I've ever eaten it. You just have to know when they're making it. It's not on the menu, or you have to know the cook, and she'll help you get it. <laughs> well, I love to feed people. It makes me happy. I like to cook. I'm still trying to uh, organize everything and work with the space we have, and loving everybody that's coming in. Our community's been behind us about 100%, so. It's been great. It's our social center. It's where we meet the other residents, where we see the other residents. It's, it's, it's hard to buy that. Well, I didn't realize, like I said, how much people appreciated this place. Because I stayed in the kitchen all the time. I really didn't get time to go out and talk to all my customers. And after I started getting tons of phone calls after it burned and just the things people saying, I did not realize in 20 years how many people really did love this place. So that's really awesome. Makes me want to try harder. I just want to thank everybody for standing by us and waiting and coming back.